I think one of the things I was most encouraged about, particularly coming from the charitable sector or the NGO sector, was the importance that was placed on engagement as a part of building trust. So when I think about, you know, as someone who's running a small charitable organization working on topics of politics and citizen participation in politics, um, which is, a, by the way, a subject that a lot of politics that people don't always trust, um, a lot of what we try to do is engagement, and in fact, it's at the very core of our mission. And uh, so it's interesting when we think about the kinds of activities we do, they're all very much designed to figure out how can we bring voices forward into this conversation? How can we give people an opportunity to participate in this? How can we design our organization so that volunteers can be a part of it? Um, so people can kind of come and go and show up at things and, and be a part of helping us advance the mission we're trying to achieve. So it was neat to see something that's designed, I think, maybe a little bit more for a corporate audience, but the emphasis placed on engagement as a critical element of trust for me was something that was really interesting because it came back to what we're trying to do every, every day. Well, I, I mentioned this in the panel, but one of the things that uh, we've done a, a big project, series of exit interviews with now 79 former members of parliament. And one of the things that came out of that is that the narratives that we use to talk about politics are actually very unengaging in themselves. Right? The, politics has not actually been designed, ironically, to facilitate citizens' engagement with it. So, for example, a lot of members of parliament said they never asked to run. They talked about the time when they were nominated by their party locally as being you know, very uh, frustrating, the rules were unclear, it was really hard to know how you voted. So all these sort of points of interaction with the political system, which should be designed to facilitate participation, actually weren't. Um, so that's sort of a, an operational issue, but on the narrative side, a lot of politicians said, oh, you know, I never plan to run, and the behavior of, of parliamentarians in Parliament is terrible. And you think, well, you are a parliamentarian. You know, like, why didn't you change that, or why didn't you act differently? And I, and I think a lot of them did try in their way, but there's this sense of describing yourself as the other and outside of politics, rather than saying, listen, politics is important, and it's important that we're all a part of it. Um, if they just sort of changed the way that they spoke about it, that might actually open the door for more people to think, hmm, that is important, and let me see if I might, might have a role or a way to contribute myself.